This is my review on the Munchkin diaper pail. Here's a good picture of the name on the refills. There's another popular one that the refills are not interchangeable with. I've accidentally bought the wrong kind before. They come, the other ones come in a blue circle plastic stack, like this thick. They don't go on this one. This one comes in bags. The refills look like this. And if you get a different kind, they will not fit. So this is the mention diaper pill. You just push down, pull up. This is baking soda, keep it from smelling. You just twist. And there's the hole that they go into. So the way this works is that it's really good about keeping the smell in. And you see this little tab right here? It goes boop right underneath it. Okay, so you gotta do that on all four corners. Let me take a second, put it in here. Okay. So when you close the lid, it creates a turning, twisting action. Okay, so that twisting makes the diaper, it twists into the plastic, so it's kind of singled out and it helps keep the smell in. And supposedly, I don't, it works really good. So here's how you open it. And then you can see the bag. You can see if it's full or if it's almost full. And then when it's time to take it out, you just pop this up. And then turn it, push it through. And then you pull out the full bag through here. Okay? And this is really easy to close. So you see this? It kind of it closes on itself. You just snap it shut, take the whole thing out to the trash. Okay. So, all that being said, it works really well. The problem with it is, you don't need it. So, I don't know, I spent 45 bucks on it and the original package came with a box of refills. And I used up that box and it, it just turns out you really don't need it. It's easier to take the stinky diapers in a grocery bag out to the trash can in the garage and let that be it. So once you get this full of dirty diapers, I mean, it can take a couple days, and then one day you open it up, and I would find little baby gnats in there. That's gross. Okay, so it keeps the smell in, and it doesn't stink, but it's also a great environment for pests. So I'd air it out, open it up, Lysol it out, and then I'd try it again. And every couple months I'd have a problem with, you know, little baby gnats getting in there and trying to nest. And so then I tried it again when I had another baby and I had two babies in diapers. And I thought, oh, for sure, it's going to be great now, right? Well, then I was filling it up every day and taking it out. I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense either. So it just ended up being a non-necessity. But if you're going to buy one, this is a good one. I like it. It's easy to use. Very simple. Uh, another thing is my when my daughter turned one, she started hiding everything inside of it. So you'd like open it up right here and then you'd find like, you know, all of her bottles or all of her toys. And this isn't really something clean you want your kid hiding their toys in. So I ended up having to hide it from her to keep her from playing with it. And she still hunts it down occasionally to try and play with it. So I'm actually going to have to get rid of it. Anyways, like I said, if you're going to get one, it's a good one. It works well. Just make sure you get the right refills. It's pretty durable. I've put it around the house several different places. It's just not a necessity. So, I mean, a lot of people I know bought one and it ended up not using it. The only people that really stuck to it were the ones that have very sensitive noses and absolutely could not stand having the smell anywhere. So, But like I said, if, if you tie it up and take it out to the trash can in the garage, you don't smell it. Anyways, so that's my review. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.